for inviting Globe to share our journey. Good morning, everyone. The Philippines is a nation of 7,600 islands and 107 million people. And while we may be separated across many islands, we are united in our love for our country. But we face some big challenges as a country. Many Filipinos don't have access to basic services. 70% are unbanked, meaning they have no bank accounts whatsoever. There's only one doctor for every 33,000 people in some rural areas. And 40% don't graduate from high school. And while the internet has changed the lives of many around the world, it still needs to trickle down to the poorest of our population. Consider that 8 in 10 homes do not have fixed broadband access. 10% of our communities have no mobile coverage, and 40% of the population don't have access to the internet. But as the number one mobile service provider in the Philippines, GLOBE can have a big impact to our society. Our vision goes beyond being number one in telecommunications. We believe that we can help build the Philippines where families' dreams come true, businesses flourish, and the nation is admired. We want to uplift the lives of Filipinos by improving overall connectivity in our country. We see connectivity as key in addressing issues like financial inclusion, healthcare, and education. Given our scale, GLOBE is already well positioned to pursue this purpose. We have 65, mobile, 65 million mobile subscribers. We can directly serve more than 400,000 micro, small, and medium enterprises. And we have a network of 1.2 million retailers and distributors. So how can we make an impact? In the next few years, we want to connect 2 million homes with high-speed broadband at 50 Mbps minimum speeds. And we aim for 90% of Filipinos to be online. While our network modernization was going full steam, and business partnered, uh, forged partnerships to build new digital products, IT had to shift from being transactional and focused on operations to having a bigger and more strategic role in the company. We needed to deliver scalable and reliable platforms and increase agility while keeping our costs down. To support this mandate, we identified eight transformation pillars. I won't go through each one, but needless to say, the task was complex. And Globe needed partners who could help us bring all the moving parts together. AWS played a critical role in helping us realize our digital transformation goals across these pillars. Our partnership has deepened, and we now rely heavily uh, on AWS services. This gives you a sense of just how much we're doing with them today. The scale is beyond what we imagined, and it continues to grow. As part of our strategy, we developed a cloud transformation roadmap. In 2014, AWS provided critical support, including training, architectural design, and cloud evangelism. By 2015, we migrated 50% of our infrastructure, and provisioning fell from 80 days, for bare metal, to five days. By the end of 2016, we cut provisioning time from five days to two days, and 90% of our new infrastructure went into the cloud. In 2017, we expanded our hybrid cloud environment and optimized our workloads. This year, our focus is to complete migration of our legacy systems and the re-architecture of critical applications to be cloud native. Looking at the bigger picture, since starting our digital transformation, Globe has experienced an average of 30% TCO savings. We've increased application performance by up to 15 times. And we've had 99.99% uptime and significantly improved our security posture in AWS. 
We've also increased business agility by dropping provisioning time from three months to now just hours, allowing us to experiment and innovate. At each stage in our journey, we worked with a range of skilled technology partners, and it goes much deeper than just a vendor relationship. The people in our partner community understand our business and are co-invested in our business outcomes. Today, AWS and these partners are deeply embedded in everything we do. Let's take a closer look at how some of these partnerships worked in practice. Oracle is used in 90% of our enterprise systems. And given its significant contribution to our operating expense, we decided to pursue open source alternatives. Globe uses Pilatro's Link solution to send campaign-related marketing communications to our mobile subscribers. This is our first carrier workload migrated from Oracle to PostgreSQL on AWS. The migration reduced our Oracle footprint by 10%, leading to a cost reduction of $1 million on license and support fees from Oracle. Using SaaS Omnichannel Marketing Hub, we built a platform to process customer activities from multiple data sources to gain actionable insights. The platform was initially deployed on AWS using Oracle databases, but AWS demonstrated linear scalability with no performance impact by leveraging Aurora Read replicas. Today, we are seeing better performance at one-tenth of the cost. Based on the success of these two projects, we are now engaging with more ISVs to help us migrate out of Oracle. Here's another example of a partner engagement around customer service. Globe partnered with Amazon Connect and Amdocs to transform our call center experience across all touch points. In the past, our th over 3,000 agents had to toggle across 31 screens with little visibility between channels and leading to frustrating experiences for our customers. Amdocs, with their telco expertise, provided the data and tools needed by Amazon Connect to give visibility and insight into customer interactions. We just launched this a few weeks ago, but we expect to, uh, to see significant reduction in average handling time, allowing our agents to focus on resolving customer issues. With Connect, we are reimagining customer experience while achieving lower cost to serve. In a strategic context, the transformation means that Globe is now able to engage with more content and technology partners through rapid integrations, allowing us to offer more services to our customers. The digital transformation has helped us grow revenue market share from 33% in 2010 to now close to 56% as of third quarter of 2018. And as we look ahead, the transformation continues. Over the next couple of years, we are focused on building a unified, services-centric cloud used by everyone across the organization, including our enterprise customers. With AWS and our partner community, we see a true digital future for the Philippines. Together, we are helping change our country and enable Filipinos to live a digital lifestyle. We have a clear path, and we are moving towards that future. Thank you.